What is going on everybody? What is going on? Wow, you know, here, let me quick show you this because it's huge. And then I'm gonna tell you a story, a story about a story actually. Um, I finally gave in and bought one of these. Mitch said he was buying one, so I'm like, you know what, I gotta buy one. So I stopped at GameStop on the way home. I was gonna get um, a breakthrough <clears throat> Elite Trainer Box finally, but I did not. I decided to go this route instead. So there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm sure you guys have already seen it. It's been out for a month or two, three weeks or something. But um, looks like you got one, two, three, four, five, six packs, two EX cards, a gigantic card, a coin, and a pin that you can't see here. Let me tilt you. There you go. There's a coin and the pin. I'll show you when I open it. All right. So one thing you always have to do when you're when you're trying to uh, trying to make a video is you gotta come up with you know something to talk about while you're while you're opening. You know, I'm gonna put this, let's get rid of this Blastoise box and let's put this one back here for a change. So, I was uh, I was coming downstairs, I just made coffee because I just got home from work and it smells delicious, it is delicious. <laughs> and there's no lights on coming down to the third floor and so, <clears throat> coming down the, down the stairs, you know, not paying attention, all excited to open up this, this kit of sweetness and I totally, totally, where'd my pin go? Okay, I totally missed the bottom step. Like, I like to step down. I'm trying to like not talk while I'm like crumpling and making all this noise. I stepped down on what I thought was the last step, but it was not the last step. So like half of my coffee, like half of the half, so like a quarter of the coffee, went all over my arm and it was so mother trucking hot i was like son of a which way does this coin go <laughs> oh there we go okay there there's my wild head i couldn't see it was it's so sparkly i don't know if it's that sparkly for you but it's that sparkly for me it was so hot i couldn't even stand it i'm like oh da, da, stuff and things and stuff and it was really hot so that that's my story there's the two uh, ex cards these are actually good. Unlike the Blastoise. Okay, so where's the code? Where's the okay, there's the specialty code. I will give away this code of amazingness if we pull something totally sweet. Um, whoa! What the heck? There's a like a loose card in here. That's weird. I don't know if I've op watched an opening of this or not, but this card was just loose underneath the underneath the thing. I don't, honestly, I do not remember if I watched an opening of this. I think I did. I think I might have. What do I know? I don't know anything. There's a gigantic card. I'll put it in your view, even though, oh, look at that. It is in your view. In my view of what I think is your view, it is not in view, but it is. Breakpoint, I'm going to open first because, well, I already pulled that secret rare. Fates Clyde, I've not pulled the secret rare. There's another breakpoint. So I'll open breakpoint first, and then breakthrough, and then fates. That's, that's the way we'll do it. The scissor. Excuse me, Mega Scizor, Shiny Gyarados, Mewtwo X, no, we'll do Houndoom, then Mewtwo X, and then we'll do Delphox, Break, and Lugia Break. That's the order, six packs, let's do it, did it, did it, let's do this. Oh, so, um, another thing I can talk about, I was watching a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh card things, because I used to watch a show a million years ago, and I know I've collected, like, cards of all kinds for years, I'm talking, like, um, Spider-Man cards and X-Men cards and baseball cards, football cards, hockey cards, Pokemon cards, <laughs> like everything. And I was like, you know what, I think upstairs somewhere I have a whole grip of, um, of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I went and looked and I have a lot of them and I was looking them up and stuff and I got some ones that are worth a little bit of money. That's kind of cool. So I sleeved them up. I very fittingly sleeved them in... Uh, in the Pokemon sleeves. So, hopefully that's not offensive to, to Yu-Gi-Oh. I should actually show them off, just in case you want to see them. Should I show them off? If you want to see them, the cards I put in sleeves, there's not very many. There's only like six or eight or something like that. I'll, I'll show them at the end of the video. Okay, so the rare is a Shift Tree Reverse and a Lilligan. Lilla, nobody cares about you. I hope there's nothing in here that that I don't need. I hope, does that make sense? I hope there's nothing in here. Yeah. No, I hope there's nothing in here that... Yeah. I think that's right. Is that right? I don't know. 
I um I started playing the the TCGO like against people because I was like I'm so good. I've totally been destroying the um the oh what do you call it the the trainer challenge modes where you're playing against um just like AI or whatever. So I'm like I'm really good. I'm gonna go try playing against people. It didn't go so well. I haven't won yet. Oh yes, we got a Radicate break. That rhymes. That sounds like a song. We got the Radicate break. I do not have the Radicate break. Actually, maybe I do, and I just don't remember. No, I don't think I do. Yes, we got the Radicate break. And the rare is Meow Stick. Nice. That's good. I I truly feel like I have not pulled Radicate break. That seriously, that's a new song. I'm starting it. I'm gonna write a song called the Radicate break. Yes. Hashtag Radicate break. <laughs> Hashtag mayhem is amazing. That will never, that'll never fly. I stopped giving away the codes on Twitter because my followers went like way down. Like even people that have been following and that who have been following me for years, like all unfollowed me. So like I held my middle finger up to the computer. <laughs> I showed them. And so I, I stopped, um, I stopped giving away the codes on Twitter. I'll just keep giving away in the videos. I mean, if people want me to give them away on Twitter, say something in the comments section, but nobody ever says anything. You know, I mean, this, the people who normally leave comments leave comments, but, like, people who, like, want them and stuff. And, ooh, Meloetta Hollow, I already have that. They don't ever say anything, so... If you want me to, to go back to giving some code away on Twitter, I will gladly do that. I still have so, so many, even though I was giving away, like, three a day for... 438 years. I want to sing. I want to sing. There's a song I've been singing, and I want to sing, but number one, I'll probably get copy strike, copy struck. You've been copy struck. But then people probably don't want to hear me sing. This sucks. Give me something. Give me some. Come on. Come on, that's four packs down, and all we got is a break and break in a hollow. Is that all that we got so far? Is a break in a hollow? That's kind of some crap. Yeah, we only got two packs left. This is garbo. I know I should have grabbed the other one when I was in GameStop. The guy's like, "Can I help you find anything?" And I'm like, "Nope, I already got it." And then I was like, "But now I have to decide which of the two I want because there's two of them. So, do I want the one that's in the front, or do I want the one that's in the back?" Oh, come on. Wheezing. How low chat. Well, two cards for the price of one. Chaos Tower. Bronzer. C -c Cotney. Burmy. Larvitar. Meowth. Reverses Whimsicott. Oh, man, you know, Bates is really driving me crazy. Not even kidding. Bates is driving me insane. It's not giving me the things that I want. This pack is fixed, so it's probably a break card in here. Hopefully it's a Lugia break. $40. Can I have something for $40 other than Eradicate break? Please. Please, energy pouch. Another freaking Halucha. Power memory. Snabble. Snavi. Solosis. Gathita. Minchino. No, oh, dog, son of a... Well, I was right about it being a break. I don't have the carb ink break, and that also doesn't sound cool, but I wanted the Lugia break. That's kind of, kind of a stupid card. <laughs> and the rare is a Marowak. That sucks. That totally sucks. But whatever. It's two breaks. Now I have to save this code. All right. Well, that that's going to do it. Um, let me know what you want me to open up. Nobody ever says anything. I've been doing openings for like two years, and no one has ever said what they want me to open. Oh, the people who wanted to see the... Let me undo the camera from the tripod. The people wanted to see the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Everybody's gone now. It's just me. At this point, like, I'm the only one who will still be watching my video. Like, it's just me. Like, re-watching it on YouTube. Here we go. Look at, we're all set up. We're ready to go. Ready to go for, um for a uh, shuffle where are the I gotta kind of point out because I got this massive stack of just ignore all this stuff I got this massive stack of codes right here and if if I hold the camera up then um, oh that's whatever 
Oh, geez, I got a whole grip of cards. If I hold the camera up, then you'll see some codes, and then I'll give them away, and someone will be like, hey, this code is not good, and I'll be like, well, I swear it was good, but then I'll be like, yo, I just remembered. I showed it off. Okay, let me try and attach. I, now, I was looking up this one card, and it's not the one that's worth like $7 million, but it's still pretty cool. I think it came out of a... Um, out of a... Th oh, shoot, I left, the, I left a good one in there. Well, here, I'll show you, I'll show you the really... The best one that I have. And then um, I'll go show you the other one that I have. This one's really shiny. I think they're secret rares. I don't know. I mean, they're only worth a couple dollars, but they're still cool. Yu-Gi-Oh cards are so tiny. <laughs> now I have to go all the way back into my room. <sighs> Come on! They, they like lose their shininess when they're in these uh, when they're in these cases. I think these are not worth really anything, but they still look cool. I think that's a hollow. I don't. I don't really know. I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. From except you know, the, I watched the the anime for the first two years. That card doesn't even do anything. It's just a silver lettering, so I put it in a case. <laughs> I watched the show for the first two years, and I played the crap out of um. Oh, now I have to unhook you again. I played the crap out of the. Was it like DS games or whatever? It's, I'm so old. I am so old. Let's go back into my room. I forgot I have it on my Pokemon shelf. So here's my shelf of goodies that I've showed before. It's this card right here. And this card is really, really like holographic-y and stuff. But it's in like double cases because I want to keep it protected. Okay, so that's, that's that card. Can you see like how shiny it is? Can you, should I take it out of the thing? I have it in a penny sleeve. Here, let me set you down. I can just set you down right there. I hate to take cards out of cases when you have them cased, but I want to show off how shiny it is. I hate to do this. Uh, like, this is against my beliefs to, like, mess with cards once they're... Can you see how shiny it is? But, see, it's like, it says SDK, and I think it's supposed to say, like, DDS or something, if it's, like, the four truly another one. But, I mean, it's in amazing shape, and it's really old, so... All right, well, that's going to do it. That is this opening. Hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button if you uh, if you enjoyed. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you want me to open something else. I mean, I'm gonna do it anyway. But <laughs> thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.